teach we are to find. So where you lead me, I will go. Touch my lips by your strength, I will go. I will go. My eyes have seen the King. I must tell all the world, worship Him. In all the nations, in all the world, where He sends me, yes, I will go. I will go. to today's devotion. Today's chosen topic is who will respond? Will you respond? Let us pray. Dear Lord, minister to our hearts as we go into your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The scripture of meditation is taken from John chapter 15 verse 13 and it says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. On September 11, 2001, the world watched in horror as tragedy unfolded in New York City. Images on TV screens displayed the towers crumbling while a remarkable group of individuals rushed towards the chaos. The first responders. These brave souls often go unnoticed and demonstrate a profound love that defies danger and adversity. In moments of danger, it's a natural instinct for most to seek safety, to move away from harm's way. Yet, in the midst of catastrophe, there are those who courageously move towards the epicenter of the crisis, 
not for fame or recognition, but with an unwavering commitment to saving lives. Firefighters, emergency medical personnel, police officers, and military personnel, collectively known as first responders, venture into places where others dare not tread. Their mission, to save even just one life. Support through prayer. Amid the chaos and danger they confront, first responders need our prayers. Let's make it a consistent practice to lift them up in prayer. Galatians chapter 6 verse 2 encourages us to carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Our prayers become a lifeline, providing them with strength and protection as they answer the call of duty. Secondly, recognize their sacrifice. It's crucial to recognize and honor the commitment of first responders. In doing so, we reflect the love of God. Let us always remember Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Expressing our gratitude and acknowledging their sacrifice is a tangible remi reminder that their efforts do not go unnoticed. Finally, encourage mental health awareness. Often perceived as the strong pillars of society, first responders are not immune to the toll of the traumatic events they witness. Just as we would check on our strong friends, we must also extend our care to these heroes. Encourage them to seek mental health professionals who can help them process the weight of their experiences. Acknowledging their emotional needs offers a space for healing and support. Ponder on this question. How can you actively support and appreciate those who selflessly serve your community? Let us pray. Loving God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the courage of first responders. Strengthen them in their mission. Grant them protection and surround them with your peace. May our support and prayers uplift their spirits. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
my lips, by your strength I will go. I will go. In all the nations, in all the world. 